Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Sea Landis, which is the eighth continent that has been explored. So whenever you see the world map, you see New Zealand, which is a country, and it sits on top of an unknown continent. Zealandia is not a part of Australia. It is completely isolated from Australia. So Zealandia is basically a huge mass of land which is submerged into the water. It is considered to be a continent because it meets all the criteria which is required for any landmass to become a continent which is applied to all the seven continents as well. So the first condition for any landmass to become a continent is that it has to have an elevation or height above the surrounding areas. So basically what is a continent? A continent is an Earth's major landmass which includes both land as well as continental shelves. The continental shelves are the border areas between the continents and the oceans. So in terms of Zealandia, why can it be considered as a continent? Because it has got a high elevation. If you consider the height of New Zealand and New Caledonia, they are large isolated islands away from Australia. So how do we consider it? New Zealand as well as New Caledonia, they are not a part of Australia, but they are lying above a landmass, which is high enough to be called as a continent. So, Zealandia is substantially elevated above the oceanic crust. The oceanic crust is lying beneath it. That means it is a landmass which might have got submerged under the ocean and it also has an elevation of 1100 meters. So, the highest point of Zealandia which lies in New Zealand is Aoraki Mountain. Cook which is in New Zealand and the height is around 3724 meters. So scientists have been gathering various kinds of information to prove that there is a continent which is lying beneath uh, the ocean which is around the New Zealand region for more than 20 years and most of the evidences are also submerged because 95 percent of this continent is submerged under the ocean so hardly there is any kind of evidence but the satellite imageries which have been obtained and also the excavations which have taken place shows that there is a continent which was a part of gondwana land as we all know that millions of years back all the continents were connected joined together as a supercontinent which is called as Pangaea which had two parts in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere the northern part was called as Angara land and the southern part including all the continents which are there in the southern hemisphere was called as Gondwana land India was also part of Gondwana land similarly New Zealand Australia South Africa, they all are part of Gondwana land. So, Zealandia is supposed to be a part of Gondwana land itself. So, the plate tectonic movements have resulted in its separation from the mainland and the entire region had got separated, moved and shifted towards the South Pole. So, this was due to the plate tectonic movements over the years. Bruce Lyon Dyke is a geophysicist and oceanographist who had coined the terms Yolandia in 1995. So in a paper which was published by the Geological Society of America's journal GSA Today, it stated that Zealandia measures around 5 million square kilometers, but 95% of it is underwater. It means that this region is really large enough to be called as a continent. Even the satellite imagery you can see shows this region as huge as Australia. According to a study which was conducted in the year 2021, it was suggested that Zealandia was formed around 1 billion years ago when due to tectonic movement it got separated from the mainland Pangaea. It is larger than any microcontinent. Microcontinent are basically huge islands which are almost the size of any continent like Indian subcontinent or Madagascar Islands or Greenland which is the world's largest island as well as Arabian Peninsula which are huge islands. 
but Zealandia uh, is supposed to be bigger than all these micro continents. So high elevation is not enough to say that any crustal piece is a continent. There are other criteria which are also assured so that we can say that this particular region is a continent which is that continents should have diverse assemblages of various kinds of rocks whether they are Archean rocks or Holocene rocks of different periods so a continent should have rocks and structures which are built over various geological periods whether they're igneous rocks or metamorphic rocks or various kinds of sedimentary rocks so geological samples which are collected from Zealandia by the scientists they prove that the various islands and groups of outcrops of Zealandia consist of various kinds of rocks that is a result of seabed dredging seabed dredging means the removal of silt and other kinds of material from the seabed so that it does not hamper ships and other kinds of vessels to move so samples are collected rocks are collected from seabed dredging so several rock samples which have been collected from Zealandia suggest that they belong to Paleozoic as well as Mesozoic period like the grey whack, schist, granite, siliceous rocks as well as various kinds of quartzites and limestones and knees various different different types of rocks are found here so thus all the evidences and samples and measurements which have undertaken by all the expeditions over the period of 20 years does prove that there is a hidden and submerged continent which is a lost continent and this is the eighth continent of the world